As we celebrate the life and legacy of Martin Luther King Jr., one of the most striking aspects of his persona and of his impact is how young he was when he ascended to national leadership. Dr. King was 26 in Montgomery when he led the bus boycott. He was 39 when he died in Memphis by assassination. And today, if he were here, we would call him a millennial. Most of us can't imagine a millennial leading the nation, impacting the world, and being the kind of presence that Dr. King was. 34 years old, when he gave the speech at the March on Washington that's dubbed as I Have a Dream. So I find this to be humbling in the first instance because it means that those of us who are older than 39 should take seriously the gifts and talents of those that are coming behind us. We also should consider ourselves responsible for doing something impactful in somebody's life before we die, like Dr. King did, who died at 39 years old. Further, I am absolutely inspired by the fact that a 26-year-old in a new city would be embraced and nurtured and supported by Ralph Abernathy, by the NAACP, and all of those older leaders who could have resented him and kind of boxed him out. God bless the leadership, Benjamin Mays at Morehouse College, of course, Dr. King's parents. God bless them for seeing the seeds of dynamic leadership in young Martin King and thus allowing him to blossom into the leader that he became. And I pray that I and all of us will see seeds of greatness in young people the way Martin King's community saw seeds of greatness in him.